What's up, Faith Family? Pastor Mike here. I know our state is being terrorized by a hurricane at the moment. I wanted to give you a few thoughts to kind of get us ready for this weekend and see what happens. I have three words I want to give to you right now. The first one is the word peace. Everybody say peace. The Bible says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. I want you to have peace. In fact, I want to speak it over you right now. Be at peace in Jesus' name. I'm sure you've seen people running for water bottles. You go to the grocery store, people are running around trying to get these. Um, people that have, they never drink water are freaking out trying to get water, you know, running over each other and pushing each other around. And uh, there's like 20 bottles left and you'll see one college student take it from senior citizens. And, and it, it just kind of, and you can see the complete lack of peace that people have in so many places. I want to say to you that God has given us the ability to have peace, even in moments like right now. In fact, our world needs us to have peace in a moment like this right now. Let me read you a couple of scriptures. Isaiah 41 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you by my righteous right hand. Even in the middle of a hurricane. Luke 12, 32, fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Fear not, have peace. 2 Timothy 1, 7, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but love and power and a sound mind. I could give you so many more scriptures. What I want to say to you is whatever you meditate on, that's what you're going to magnify. And whatever you magnify, that's what's going to move you and control you. And guys, I get it. I get it. I get it. I've got eight kids. I've got a house full of people. We need water. We need protection. We need all of that. I totally get it. What I'm telling you is parents, your kids need you to have peace. When you go to the grocery store, you need to have peace. When you are talking to people, you need to have peace. When you're posting online, post with peace. And for God's sake, if you're going to go check out the weather, you don't need to check the weather 500 times a day meditate on the Word of God day and night, then go look at the weather. Of course look at the weather. Of course we're going to be wise. Of course we'll do all of that. But the first word I want to give you is peace. Meditate on the promises and on the goodness and on the greatness of your God who is sovereign. That's number one. Number two, authority. Not only do I want you to have peace, I want you to know that you've got authority. Now, I'm, in a, I'm almost hesitant to say this, but I'm not. And that is simply this. Jesus told us, that we've been given dominion, that he's given us authority. I don't know exactly what to do on this, uh, but I'll tell you this, there's a, a hurricane that's approaching our peninsula, and we've got a Savior who said, if you've got faith, you can speak to mountains and cast them into the sea. And Jesus said that uh, whatever he did, we could do that as well. This is Jesus talking. I mean, so there's a part of me, just listen to me carefully right now. Hurricane Irma, in the name of Jesus, move out to the sea. I mean, I'm going to speak it in the name of Jesus that the, the effects of this hurricane would be diminished. I'm going to speak that out and say, may people's lives be saved. May people evacuate to safety. May there be a peace that comes upon our peninsula, upon our state, upon all of our faith family. I want you to know that you've got authority. Parents, take your kids, go out to your yard, pray over your property. Neighbors, walk outside of your house today. Today's Friday. On Saturday, if you hear this on Saturday, go do this on Saturday. Go pray over your neighborhood. Go pray for your neighbors right now. Pray for the peace. Pray for the protection. You've got authority. Do you understand that? You've got authority in the name of Jesus. And man, guys, right now, like this is our shot. Where the whole world's freaking out, we get to have a peace because we've got a God who's got authority and he's shared that authority with us. You know, I've got, a, many of you know, I've got a daughter named Anaya, and when she gets upset, she's four, and uh, she'll just start to sometimes scream, or she'll just start to cry. And I always love when Ruthie, my wife, looks at her, and she says, Anaya, stop it. Use your words. <laughs> she said, use your words. Tell me what you're thinking. You know, are you sad? Are you angry? Use your words. And sure enough, when she uses her words, things get better. Well, church, let me say it to you. There's a hurricane coming. Use your words to do more than reflect reality. Use your words to perhaps change reality. If not in the physical weather, for sure in the hearts of people that you speak to. Use your words. Third thought I want to give you. First was peace. That's authority. Third word is hope. It's hope. I was going to the gas, driving by a gas station last night, and people were just nuts. I mean, people were going crazy. And again, I get it. I get it. I get it. I've got a family. I've got kids. I totally get all of that. But you can see the lack of peace. You can see the lack of understanding of any kind of authority that someone may have as a human. But when I'm watching people in the bread aisle, you know, trying to uh, grope for all of the bread and you can see the people doing it and there's, there's like this hopelessness, like, uh oh, what am I going to do? What I need you to know is this. If you belong to Jesus, 
Don't we know that we have a God that knows how to give his children bread? I mean, do we not know that? I'm not just trying to state the obvious, and I'm not minimizing the seriousness of this. This is serious. It's a Category 5. Those things are catastrophic. What I'm letting you know is the hurricane is big, and Jesus is so much bigger. I'm not saying this to, to minimize the need for peace. I was just in an emergency meeting with the emergency management of our city and county. And by the way, uh, North Central Florida Gainesville is a shelter area. If you know someone that needs a shelter, tell them to go today, which is Friday. Tell them to go as soon as possible. Tell them to bring bedding. Tell them to bring their food. I'm all for the wisdom. Cut down branches that need to be cut down. Be ready. Have your water ready. Have your you know windows prepared. All of it. I believe in every single bit of that. But what I'm telling you is that we've got hope. And I think about how in, in Thessalonians, Paul said, when people had died, he's like, we grieve, but we don't grieve the way other people grieve. Other people, when they die, they grieve without hope. We grieve with hope. So see, the issue is not that we're, den I'm not denying the hurricane's existence, and I'm not even denying the, the devastating possibilities. What I'm telling you is, we have hope in Jesus. We have hope because of the resurrection that's unlike anything else, which means I take the hurricane very seriously. I'm going to speak to it, but I take it very seriously. But I take Jesus even more seriously. And you know what? We've got a Redeemer. We have a King. We have a Savior. He's on the throne. And when I watch people, when I watch Christians running through the bread aisles, trying to hoard the bread, freaking out as if they will be hungry, as if they... I once was young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaking or his children begging for bread. The, right, the people of God, the righteous, they don't have to worry about what's going to happen with the bread aisle. What that does mean, though, is when you've got hope, we recognize and Guys, this is what I want you catching. This is our chance right now, man. This is our chance. This is our state. This is the state of Florida, man. This is on our watch. This is our chance right now to show this state, to show this world, what does it look like when you are enduring the same hurricane everyone else is and the same winds everyone else is, but you do it with hope. You've got peace, you've got authority, and you've got hope. See, we're not crazily optimistic in the sense of nothing could ever go wrong. The Bible's clear. There are many afflictions in this world, but we are not pessimistic either because we don't despair thinking things are going to go terribly because we've got him. He said, I'll never leave you. He said, I'm not going to forsake you. He said, I'll give you power, which is why we come and we bring a hope. So if you're going to buy bread today, you go buy, bread, you go buy bread with hope. If you need to go get gas, you go get your gas with hope. If you're boarding up your, your windows, fine, do that. But you do it in hope. And if you are talking to people, if you're talking to your kids, you're talking to your neighbors, you go speak in hope. And maybe this is a chance right now, like Peter said, Live in such a way that others will ask you for a reason for the hope that is in you. When everyone else is freaking out over the name of Irma, you already say, wait, wait, wait. We've already got one name that we tremble before, and that is the name that's above all the names, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. I speak peace over you, blessing over you, protection over you. Now let's go be who we are, the people of God in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless. If you're in Gainesville and you need some help, you could email us at help at greenhousechurch.org. If you're wondering if there's something you can do today, I can assure you every time there's any sort of disaster, our church wildly steps up to the table. So your donation, your support, your tithes, your offerings absolutely are going to be phenomenal at a time like this. You can even go right there online and you can give and your heart can be moved in a way like that that's going to help us go change the world. But I pray the blessing and protection and kingdom of God upon you and your family and your home. Be safe. Be blessed in Jesus' name.